intercooler piping. It's just going to be coming off the turbo back here, down and around. I have to get it around these uh, fuel lines. So I'm probably going to have to do a kick out here, kick back in, and then down. I'm hoping I can just do a 90 down, all out of aluminum pipe, and then get it just with one straight coupler down there to the intercooler. That's my plan. Uh, I just I just have this pipe in here as a rough like mock up of where I gotta get to. This pipe off the intake's totally done. I have a barb fitting back here and I gotta wait for it. That'll be the uh, boost reference for the N75 valve. I had a absolutely horrific time welding the, uh, the super sequential blow off valve on it because since it is a knockoff, they must have used like the worst metal you know, possible. It was insanely hard to weld, dirty all the time, popping and banging and whatnot. So, hoping it'll be good enough. If not, uh, I'll have to buy something else. Instantly, do not recommend that. What I have going on here, you can see it's nice and clean out of the way. This is all two and a half inch, so this is just a 45 cut down. Goes down to another like angled cut off of a piece of straight right here and then into a 90 then into this uh a straight right into the intercooler now uh, it's got plenty of clearance everywhere i'm really happy with how that fits i just put it back in i tacked it up i didn't show you guys because it was uh, that <laughs> that uh that blow off valve just 
you know, it just just set me over the top, and I was uh, I was done for a while. The next next thing to do will be this map sensor flange. This is another China part, so uh, I don't have I don't have high hopes for it. Uh, let's just say that it's going to be somewhere in this pipe. You know, somewhere that's easy to get to, but hidden. Uh, I'm trying to get as many things hidden as possible. Show you, I guess, probably welding it up and installing it for the final time, and putting all the clamps on, and having the intake side completely done. Take a red scotch brake pad. I'm also going to do this after everything's welded. That way, it'll all match that stuff. I just ran a scotch brake over that. I think it looks pretty good, but. I'm going to do this now to clean up all the areas that I'm going to weld. This one was left outside for about five, six years. So I got to get all this rust off of it so I can bead roll it and I'll have to bead roll this one as well. You can see here's the dot. That's going to be for the middle of the flange. Set it right there, weld it up. I'm going to take the time to actually scuff this up too because quality of materials these days. And then probably to weld this, I'm probably going to have to pump, bump it up to 160. I, I don't know what the issue is with this machine, but it's not great. 330 seconds rod. I've already cleaned this. You always clean the rod as well. But I'll just be welding around. If you're new to welding, especially aluminum, it's, it's all about penetration. So as you see the puddle, the puddle, puddle will form and it'll rise up. That's when you add the filler in. So it'll, it'll be up there, and then you know you have full penetration of a weld when the weld drops, because that's basically, it's sinking through. So as soon as it sinks through, add some more, comes up, drops down, add some more, comes up, drops down, add some more. And that's as easy as I can explain it. Fully welded. Oh, it's still hot. Looks pretty good. No worries about that. I thought this was gonna be cheap, not good fitting, but it actually turned out well. I mean, it was 13 bucks on eBay. See the inside hole, there's a stepped edge. That's where the insert goes for the map sensor because you can have multiple different map sensors for Mark IVs and Audis and whatnot. So that inner hole, I just gotta blast that out and clean it up and then start running beads on everything and then scotch bright it up and put it in for a final install. Make a little center punch mark for it. Here's the bead roller and uh, you see in between these two posts right here, that's where the part goes. Nice bead rolled part. Clamp won't slide off of that. Looks nice, brushed. All of this uh, cold side piping on. So you got the map sensor back here, routed nice and clean out of the way. The rat hose isn't touching the power steering. The power steering isn't touching the uh, intercooler pipe. All the clamps are out of the way. Uh, I did put in the hood latch and the cable, ran it in, got the OEM clamps. So I only have to run the uh, chassis side harness that goes up into here. And there's a little like, barrel clamp I guess you call it and it goes to each headlight and each side markers I got the I got the little fitting for back here stuff this up a little bit more make it look a little nicer you can see the port that I put back here show you guys something really cool 
this stuff's like unobtainium now. OEM Mark III splash guards. Fit friggin' perfect. No issues at all. Tons of clearance. Look at that OEM. Part number if you guys wanna try to find them, but 825-250-A. Tip trick for you guys is the last number tells you which shot of the car that part is for. So odd numbers are always on driver's side or the left side of the car. And how you remember that is the side of the car depends on when you're sitting in the car, not when you're in front of the car, when you're sitting in the driver's seat, all right? So when you're sitting in the driver's seat, whatever is on your left, your left over here, doesn't matter if you're on the right or the left side, but whatever is on your left side will be odd numbers. Whatever is on the right side of the car is even numbers. If you guys wreck a car or anything like that, and say you need a side marker, I can almost guarantee you that the only thing you have to change to get that part number is the last number. So if this is a eight over here, well then I would say the driver's side is either gonna be a seven or a nine. But we're, we're definitely getting close. No one here likes front plates. And if you don't have a front plate, you get a ticket. So you can see the sticker's a little wore out. Smith's Euro is actually the name of my uh, little at home business. And seems fitting for the YouTube channel. Put the headlights and the grill in and then we're, we're, we're pretty close to being done. There were a few holes in the firewall from prior looms and the uh, the clutch cable that used to be there because now it's a hydraulic um, clutch. I had two holes. They were both 39 millimeters. Went on Amazon and got two sets of these rubber plugs, you would call them. Uh, this is the part number. This is the bag. Uh, I've already tried the one. The one fits perfect. I'll show you the light. So right there you can you can see the hole fit right in no problem you can see no more hole that's a win next what i'm doing is uh, i'm gonna fill up the coolant uh, Volkswagens use pink coolant it's called g13 you got to mix it half and half if you get it like this in this row container this is a concentrate which means you got to mix it 50 50. you're not supposed to mix it 50 50 with tap water you're supposed to use distilled water that way the water doesn't cause rust and corrosion if you use regular tap water it's got a bunch of minerals in there that you know mess up the uh it's a cast iron block so it'll it'll cause rust inside corrosion and i'm going to use the vacuum filler vacuum fillers are a real cool tool where you it takes maybe five minutes and you're completely done with the cooling system so as long as you have no leaks you put it on you set it to vacuum and what it does is it basically, it just sucks all the air out of the system and creates like a venturi effect. So as soon as you suck all the air out, it just uses that venturi effect and literally just sucks all the coolant out. It fills every nook and cranny of the engine. So as soon as you're done that, it's done. You don't have to worry. If, if your car's overheating after that, you have a different issue. It's not because you have an air pocket. This hose is the one you connect to the air. When you turn this on, you'll see the, the gauge drop. You know, you wanna be in this green zone before you uh, fill it up. So this hose is kinda of like the excess. This is like the air coming in and out. You should always have it in a bottle because every now and again, it'll, it'll spit out some coolants. And then the other side comes over here. It has a little screen on the bottom. You just put it in the bottom of your coolant tank. Crack this lever. It'll uh, just back feed, suck everything in. Do this until you get to your desired pressure then you'll cut it off and pull the hose and then just crack that fill it up
So right about 24, 25, it's that place to stop. Cut this off, crack this. You know, see, it, it, it just sucks it up quick. So you gotta be on top of it. I'll probably have to uh, swap it into this. That's why I have two of them, or eight inches of mercury. I'll, uh, I'll stop it and then pull it out and let, it, let air go in for the rest of the system. Basically right now, it's done. That's what a 1.8T looks like and a Mark III. There's a big front mount. Just gonna try the, uh, the little cinematic mode, see how it looks. For the most part, engine side, trans side, the swap's done. Let me know if you guys like it. This is the, the kind of stuff that I'm gonna be messing with and, and putting on the channel a lot. Uh, next up, we'll, we'll just be adding on to this basically. The, the golf front end with the dual rounds. I really wanna get some side skirts on it. I really wanna be able to have the cruise control working and start doing like little Euro mods inside the car. I already have a, a Euro gauge cluster. It's it's a it's a real nice one. People love it. But I, I do want to do like center console and stuff like that and get the you know the OEM radio and then I'll just put like a Bluetooth module behind it or something. And then I can have uh, the the like the Fisher cassette holders. I th I think that stuff's so rad. You know, old period correct stuff. Let me know if you guys like this. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.